today we're going to continue to learn about decimals and fractions. In past chapters, we learned how to make equivalent fractions. When using decimals, we need to be really good at using specifically tenths and hundredths. So today, for our problems, we're going to change tenths into equivalent fractions of hundredths. So our instructions here say, write three tenths as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. So instead of tenths, we want to turn this into hundredths. So here's our original fraction of three tenths. And I want to make it a fraction, an equivalent fraction, of hundredths. So what did I have to do to my tenths to turn it into hundredths? 100 is bigger than 10, so I know I had to multiply. So 10 times what equals 100? 10 times 10 equals 100. So everything in place value goes by tens. So since we multiplied the denominator by 10, we need to multiply the numerator by 10. So 3 times 10 equals 30. So 3 tenths equals 30 hundredths. And I can prove this with a picture if I want to. And there's 3 tenths. And there's 30 hundredths. They're both shaded the same amount. If we were thinking about money, 3 tenths would be like 3 dimes, and 30 hundredths would be like 30 pennies, and that would be the same amount of money. So 3 tenths is equivalent to 30 one hundredths. And we could write this as a decimal, 3 tenths or 30 hundredths. Okay, here's our second example. These are all going to be fairly similar. So we need to write 4 tenths as a fraction with a denominator of 100. Then write the fraction as a decimal. So we have 4 tenths. I want there to be a denominator of 100. Once again, everything has to do with tens. So we're multiplying by 10. So 4 times 10 is 40, so 40 hundredths. And as a decimal, we could write this as 4 tenths or 40 hundredths. Those are equivalent. Okay, we're going to have you try this one along with me. So write 7 tenths as a fraction with a denominator of 100. Then write the fraction as a decimal. So, our fraction we start with is 7 tenths. We want to change that to a fraction with a denominator of 100. Multiplying by 10, 7 times 10 equals 70. And they want you to write this as a decimal. And there are two possible answers. I usually just write them both. So 7 tenths or 70 hundredths. Okay, here's four problems to bring to class tomorrow. Number one, write 6 tenths as a fraction with a denominator of 100. Then write the fraction as a decimal. And so I don't have to rewrite this whole thing. Once you're done with this one, I'm just going to erase a couple numbers instead of the whole thing. Number two is going to be write five tenths as a fraction with the denominator of 100 then write the fraction as decimal. Number three, write nine tenths 
as a fraction with a d denominator of 100, then write the fraction as a decimal. And last of all, number four, write one-tenth as a fraction with a denominator of 100, then write the fraction as a decimal. Thank you for listening, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.